Hello everyone, welcome to the video. And I just want to make a little video to say that our diet should not cause mucus and bodily congestion. And that's the number one reason why people are sick these days, it's because of contamination and toxicity of the diet and environment, environmental and chemical pollutants as well in the air, in the water and in the food and in our household, our working places, in the fabrics, etc. So, like if you look at a wildebeest or a giraffe or a hippopotamus, they're not like excreting huge like slime and hog ups of like mucus from their mouth. They are as fit as a fiddle. A lion, a tiger, a cheetah, a wildebeest, a, a springbok, a leopard, a hyena, a gazelle. They are like, they're wild and they're so strong and fit and they're eating wild fresh food. Fresh and wild. They're not sick, debilitated, arthritis, osteoporosis, diabetes, cancer, tumours. You don't see them with any of this stuff. And the reason is because they eat their specific diet for their race, their species specific diet. Whether it's a carnivore or an omnivore or, or a frugivore or whatever it is. And humans belong to an anthropod, I, I think it's called. And we're like the other species, like we're, we're like we're like the other frugiv frugivorous or frugivorous species in that we almost have an identical digestive tract to chimpanzees or bonobos and it's like they eat almost like al almost exclusively fruit chimps I think maybe a little bit different uh, they might eat a very small percentage of other, other things like maybe insects or meat but the other ones we're close to do not as far as I'm aware and eating meat has just caused like pus in our body an, an intake of pus, uh, mucus, dairy products very congestive, acidic forming too you don't want to be causing acid in your body it's just it's, a, it's, a, it's an erosive hot destructive thing <laughs> So, why are we so sick as a species? Here I am in County uh, Wicklow, Kiltegan, Ireland. Beautiful viewers. So, have you ever asked the question, like, why are we so congested and getting colds? And they don't go around getting the, the, the common cold all the time. Or, you know, if you get a cold in the African savannah, you're dead. You're going to die, you know? Survival of the fittest. So why are we as humans so increpid? And I know the answer guys, it's as simple as that. Like think about it, there's over 800,000 species of other animals. Who, who are animals similar, like big animals like us, and they all eat their diet. We deviate. <laughs> we left our original tropical home in the warm weather and now we have to wear clothes because we're the only species who aren't naked we all wear clothes because we're not in the tropics anymore where it's nice and warm so we have to adapt when we went away from the tropics which is full of fruits almost almost every tree has fruits okay not the high but a lot as much as half in many places there's like an abundance of fruit and fruits don't cause mucus by the way they are so easy to digest they're full of nutrition flavin Ooh. hey little birdie they're full of flavonoids, bioflavonoids, antioxidants, saponins, all coloured pigments which are good for us, protect ourselves from oxidation, minerals, vitamins, and especially the water guys. Water is like so important for us. I don't know what the human species are doing. I've no resistance and I know it, we choose to come here as a soul. It's all part of the experience, but it's kind of like funny too. A little bit funny, you know? <laughs> <laughs> the reason why I'm making this video because I want to help anyone who's sick, overweight, tired, unhealthy, weak immune system, osteoporosis, arthritis, diabetes, 
You know, every species when they're sick, they fast. All the mammals, they, they water fast. Nothing, nothing eaten, basically. Possibly a few herbs, maybe a few nibbles on some wild plants. Otherwise, just sit down under a tree and they fast. If they're really sick, they can't do anything else. They're just gonna die otherwise. And when you fast, your body heals. When you, food is the number one thing that takes up energy usage in the body. <laughs> what a lovely sceneries. Oh, it's gone now. So, so if you're sick, here's my advice. Give up dairy and all dairy, all meat. Just do a vegan diet. And I, I don't mean this for like, if you're sick and you, or you want to be optimally healthy. Sorry. Switch to more vegan food or fully vegan food or else all vegetarian. Just as high as you can get, basically speaking. With, 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 with enjoyment and pleasure, not, not stress. Get inspired and get, and get a juicer and make juices. Optimally for full recovery, you can switch to a 100% raw food diet, like, like the other frugivores. And just eat fruits and tender leafy green, tender leafy greens, not like stuff like hard broccoli or uh, kale, Brussels, Brussels sprouts or cabbage and all that stuff. Well, unless you want to use them as a herb, as in cruciferous vegetables, especially cabbage, can be used for stomach ulcers, but you wouldn't take it for ordinary diet. It's too thick and hard to digest, too much hard fiber and cellulose. So, if you're really sick, get a juicer, juice your greens, and uh, eat simple salads, maybe four or five ingredients max. You know, like tomato, uh, celery, kale, and maybe an avocado if you wanted. Sorry for the wind, guys. I hope you can hear me. If you're sick, I'd also recommend it searching on the internet proteolytic enzymes or systemic enzymes. It's the same thing. They're really good for healing people. I heard a story, got rid of a tumor in a few days. They help cleanse very quickly. If you're sick, you might want to also take probiotics, possibly, or make your own cultured food. I know it is a little bit different to what I'm saying previously about a simple diet, but you could do one or the other, just different ways, you know, they're just tools. But the original diet wouldn't have necessar wouldn't have had obviously modern day enzymes, but they work. But if you also think of after a while, maybe you could just do a few days or weeks of all and only fruits. But you could include some herbs or superfood powders if you wish, or simply juices with green vegetables. But everything you eat could be just fruits. This is very detoxing. So this is like much different and easier than doing water fasting. Much safer, much easier, much more. You can live your life and go to work still. Have energy to do things. You, sh you should generally get supervision for water fasting. All right, well, I hope this video isn't ruined by the wind. Nice weather here, obviously a beautiful day. Today's the hottest day in Ireland this year. What day does it say? I think it's a... Uh... Oh, I don't really know, actually. <laughs> it's a... Uh... Yeah, mid June, anyway, yeah. Mid June 2014. Galaxy Earth, solar system, Milky Way. <laughs> uh, so, um, questions or comments, leave them below, you know. I'd... If you even, I'd even give up, try give up or min, give up gluten or minimize wheat and gluten. It's just clogging and acid farming and you know what? Just think about it, guys. Does it make any sense to eat food that glues you up on the inside, congests your small little capillaries in your veins? Then you have issues with erectile dysfunction come 30 or 40 and you're getting cancer when you're like 30, 40, 50 and tumors. Tumor is just a pocket of waste that you haven't been able to eliminate because you're putting in too much dirt and slop, 
mucus forming foods and waste that we aren't designed to eat that there's too much so your body can't get rid of it all so it tries to put it in like pockets you know away from other important organs so you get a tumor it's like a safe place to keep the organs in a little box but you can get rid of them you can cure cancer with like water fasting easily well you know it take, might take a few weeks there's lots of things you can do and uh Oh, look at that. That's oh, beautiful. Beautiful! Woo! If I had a zoom in camera, you'd see like cows in the far field. <laughs> Brown, white, and black. That is all gorgeous. So I just take responsibility is my number one message. You can heal yourself. It's my, my number one message as well. You can do it if you want. Just learn how, and hopefully this video helps. And uh, yeah, give it a like, share, and a comment. Spread the word. And uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, I hope that helped and, and look at my links below the video for further help and information on different things, okay? Many different things. Bye for now, lots of love. Take care. Bye.